In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Suggest Keywords tool and explain what the position score means and sort of how to use this tool so that it makes sense for your particular marketing. So let's just start with example and I'll just show you how this works. Let's go ahead and type in, let's say for example, um, wedding. Say for example, you're in the wedding niche, you sell wedding related products or you have a, a wedding service or something like that. So you can stick it in there, and then what you have to do is you select the country you would like to get the sources from, and then you select your sources. So you have the search engines, you have video sources, e-commerce, and other. So we've categorized them in different sections here to accommodate for the marketing that you're doing. So let's say, for example, you have a website and you're trying to um, increase your search engine optimization by finding relevant keywords that you can um, optimize your website for. So we'll be sticking to the search engines. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select Google, Bing, Yahoo, and Ask. And then we're going to generate auto-suggest keywords from those four selected sources. So auto-suggests are when you go to a search engine like Google, and let's type in wedding, and then type in the letter A, you'll get a whole bunch of auto-suggest keywords. Now this means that Google is telling us, hey look, if you're typing a letter A, this is the next most important or most searched keyword in their search engine right now. This is a, a current up-to-date data. So they're telling you right now that this is the next most popular word. Like this might actually change tomorrow. It's based on their algorithm. I think it's all real time. So you can actually see what the next popular keyword is for the letter A and then B and C and so on and so forth. And so the keyword atlas will get this data, but also it will keep track of the position. So we know that this is this keyword crash our wedding crashers. This keyword is in position number one. This is the next the most important keyword that's going to come up based on what Google is saying. Hey, look, if you're going to type C, this is the next one that's most important in a search engine. Okay, so that's what the software does. It actually keeps the uh, keeps track of that position of that keyword that shows up in the auto suggest dropdown for all of the sources, and then it adds the number here. Now, there's something else that's happening. When you're putting uh, these letters in different search engines, you're gonna get the same word showing up again for a different um, search thing. So if I say it was like um, wedding and the, and the keywords in the front, or the letters in the front, a certain keyword that shows up this way might show up like that way on another in another list from another source. So what I'm trying to say is they're actually averaged out. These are the average position of those keyword that showed up in the resulting source, the resulting search engine in their auto suggest dropdown box. This thing. Let's go ahead and do the example. So it's going out right now and it's grabbing these auto suggests and then it's telling us, okay, for whatever a seed keyword that was used here, seed meaning wedding and what letter, most likely D was appended. For that particular um, keyword, it showed up in the first position in Google. It showed up 1.25 on average positions in Bing, 1.5 on Yahoo and one point on Ask. And then it's getting the position score. So whichever ones, if you get a certain keyword that's showing up really high in all the positions from all the search engines, that indicates, well, that's a very important word. So we created a position score that ranges from zero to 100, where 100 is the best. Now, the way this works really, really well is you have to let it run all the way through whatever search range you're doing, because it's calculating all the keywords in here at the same time. So it's adding new keywords, but it's also going back and recalculating any other keywords that may have been found in new auto um, suggests. So there's a lot going on here. So every time you select different sources um, here, different sources, also different keywords, different times a day, like the position score will always be different, but gives you a different way and a unique way of determining these popular keywords. Now we've even taken a step further. If you go into settings, you'll see we have these, um, for all the different sources, we have importance levels. So you can apply an importance from a rating of a one to 10 for your data sources. For this particular example, we use these four search engines and I set Google to be the most important, 
Then I went Bing, a little less important, nine. And then Yahoo and Ask, I just set them to eight because they're probably a little bit less important in terms of what I want to do. I want to do search engine optimization. In terms of search engine optimization, Google's usually the best. That's where you want to get your traffic from. And then Bing, Yahoo, Ask sort of thing. And you can set your importance. If you're doing e-commerce, you can set your importance. You can set them all. It's all up to you. It's sort of the way you want to do your marketing. So we make it really, really flexible and it works very well. So now we can see that weddings, invitations, wedding jokes, wedding anniversary, things like that. You can, you know, start to concentrate your SEO, your marketing around these search words. So that's what the position score means and how it's so important. And one really awesome thing about this position score, it gives you the additional ability to uncover stuff that's going on right now, like trending stuff that's happening right now. Because as I suggested, this is going to change all the time and Google's going to be determining which, which keyword to show after you type. They're going to always keep the most up-to-date data here. So to illustrate this, here is another search that I did and I saved the file. It's for drop shipping. So I just put drop shipping in there and I sorted by the position score for these four search engines. Now if I go ahead and select some of these top ones, let's say we select these ones here. So these particular ones and we, we can go right click and we can select Google Tools and Google Trends. And those will show up in our browser for the ones we selected. And you will notice these trends right now are actually doing well. So you can see there's a ramp right there. And this is for whole time. So if we do like, say for the past 30 days, maybe not that much, maybe 90. It's pretty consistent. How about the past 12 months? Very consistent. But you can see this trend here it's going up that one's going up so is that one and so is this one sort of a new one so as you can see it helps you un and it's just another way another um, strategic way that's using a mathematical formulation formula that is figuring out the importance of these keywords based on real data that we can collect I mean we can collect that data of where the position of the keywords is located in this dropdown for each of those search engine. And then using that data and strategically using your own importance, that formula then calculates that position score, giving you an edge over any other tool that exists out there. This is just another very valuable metric that you can use to try to uncover these keywords that you need for your marketing. And we made it really cool so that you can actually do it for search engine optimization. And if you got e-commerce products, you need to do some e-commerce research or some video research, even inside of Google Play and Wikipedia. So there's no shortage of keyword ideas and, and uh, position scores that you can get for this particular tool. So that's basically all I want to show in this video is just sort of concentrate on explaining the position score and kind of how to use it. Um, there'll be other videos, you know, how to uh, save data, how to get search volume, how to export keywords and things like that. So and how to use the idea generator. But I just want you to uh, start thinking about how the position score is important for your marketing. See you in the next video.